This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. This is part one in a series of videos covering Google Forms. In this tutorial, we'll cover the basics of form creation. Included in this video will be how to create a Google Form, how to add and move around different types of questions, and how to share the form with the public using a link. To create a new Google Form, navigate to your Google Drive, select New, under the file type options, you may see a Google Form listed. If not, mouse over more, and then you should see Google Forms. I'm going to show you how to make a really fast quiz. So I'm going to call this Fast Quiz. If you're in a Google Apps domain and you scroll to the top, you'll notice there are some options where you can automatically collect the student's username and require that they log in. If you're trying to share it publicly, you would want to make sure you deselect those items. In this case, I'm using this for class, and I am going to choose that option. You can put in a form description. This might be where you put instructions for the person taking the quiz. For my first question, I actually use this for the student's last name, and I change this to a text response, and I make this a required question because I want to make sure I capture that. I'm going to add an item and do la uh, first name, and it's a text box response. I'm going to make it required, and I'm going to say done. And you notice this is how I'm adding my questions. When I mouse over, the gray bar indicates the item that I'm selecting. So if I wanted to edit that item, I just mouse over the gray bar and hit edit. I'm going to add an item for class period. I usually do this as a drop down so that students don't mistype. And I make this a required question. When you're ready to add questions, you can type the question title. This would be what would be the column header, so you want to keep this short. So I am just going to do a quick quiz. So I'm going to do Q1 for question one, and I'm not going to put anything in the help text. If I were doing a more formal quiz, I might write the topic of the question here for my column header, which would show up in my results at the end of this when students submit their answers. And the help text, I would actually write the whole sentence or a couple sentences that constitute the question. These Both these fields are visible to students. The, the title looks like a header, and the text is in smaller font, but still very visible. I'm going to choose a multiple choice, and I'm actually going to have this just say ABC, because in my fast quiz, I actually have students that are holding a paper version of the quiz because I did it in a different format. Maybe it's something I already had in Microsoft Word, and I don't want to start from scratch creating it here. I am going to just have them enter their responses so I can then auto-grade the quiz using something like Flubaroo. makes things much faster for me. I am not going to make this a required question. I don't make questions on quizzes required in the Google Form because that would mean a kid that needs to be um, dismissed or has a um, ed plan that allows them extended time. They wouldn't be able to submit their Google Form if their quiz was not fully completed. So I would recommend you don't make the questions required because that would prevent students from submitting it unfinished. Choose Done when you're finished with the question. In this case, I'm going to do multiple questions that look exactly the same with very little difference. So to do that, I can mouse over and choose Duplicate. And that will give me another question the same that I can just simply mouse over and change the number. And now everything stays the same. And look how fast I can add items now. And so a paper quiz becomes an electronic quiz very easily. So this is how you would add your questions. And let's say I needed to move something. Maybe I wanted first name to show up before last. So if you wanted to rearrange questions, again, you mouse over to indicate the question you want to select. Press down on your, oops. <laughs> mouse over the question, press down to drag, and then release in the position you want to move it to. Once you've finished your quiz, you can hit Send Form. 
so that you can grab the link for the document, uh, for, I'm sorry, for the Google Form. So I can copy this or I can add the students or people that I need to distribute the form to. I also have the option to embed the form. If you want to view the live form to make sure it's what you want to see, you can click View Live Form. And now you can see what the students will see. Thanks for watching. For this and other tutorial videos and technology integration help for your classroom, check us out online at teachingforward.net.